Hello, I'm Juan Yasir. Today I will try to explain the KP 4C so, to solve boundary value problems. So here, this is the uh, problem from 28 to 2.8 to 2.19. <clears throat> so these equations represent heat and mass transfer of uh, boundary, layer, boundary layer flow. So for uh, solving these equations, I will apply the vb 4 c So for applying vb 4 c we open a new window. Before before going on the uh, MATLAB M file, I will, I will first try to uh, bring the whole problem into uh, the uh, to the whiteboard. So for doing that, I will, and then so here the whole problem. So first one, I suppose that F prime is F1, or it is, it can be a G. So this is F1, I suppose it G. And F2 is G prime, which is H. And now the equation, if I use these two substitutions into the first equation, so the first equation becomes H prime is equal to minus F. F double prime is going to be H minus 2N over N plus 1. And then F prime square. F prime means that it is a G square. So first equation can be converted into this form. Similarly, second and third equation can be converted. So now I move on to the fourth. So the second, second problem can be converted in this way. Let theta prime is equal to theta 1. Then theta 1 prime, theta double prime, theta double prime would be a theta 1 prime. That equals to final number. Then minus f theta prime. Theta prime is theta 1. Plus nb theta prime. Theta, theta prime is theta 1. And phi prime is phi 1. Then minus n t and then theta prime square for so theta one square. That's the equation and then phi prime is equal to phi one. And that can be a uh, phi one prime is equal to negative one by two S C the F theta phi prime would be a phi one. That's a phi one minus minus n t over n b theta double prime. So this whole thing is a theta double prime. So I bring that in here. Random number so minus f theta one and then minus n b theta one phi one. Minus and the five times the So I move to the four and for the first equation so C and C. So I define a function P U. Which so first uh, u two u two u one is f u one uh, is uh, denotes h and u two is f prime which is g so u two the right hand side of first equation then the right hand side of the second equation which is g prime is equal to h so h is can be represented with u three u three is f double prime and then the the, the 
the rest of the the third equation. Third equation would be a so this would be a this would be, would be a first equation, then second, then this would be a third, this is fourth, this is fifth, this is sixth, and this is the seventh equation. The total seven equation I have to give the information. So in the input there will be seven equation. The two are done. So the third one would be minus uh, f is u1 and h is u3 minus 2 times m over n plus 1. And then g is squared. g is uh, u2. So it's u2 squared. And then here u u four represent u four represent theta and u five represent theta prime. So uh, so I will write u five here for theta prime and u four would be a theta. And then the fourth equation has, has been written and then the fifth equation would be kernel number multiplied by minus f f is u one. Then theta one, theta one is u five, the uh, theta prime, u five minus m b multiplied by theta one, theta one will be u five, the theta prime, and then five prime, five prime is u seven, because u six would be a five, so five one, five one would be a or five prime would be a u seven, and then minus n p, so it's theta one square. Means that u five or four, and then for uh, uh, nanoparticle volume fraction would be uh, u seven, and then negative one by two s c f is u one, and five one is a five five, so this is u seven minus and t over n b multiplied by theta prime. So theta prime is this whole pressure. And then I close the bracket. Now for the boundary conditions. For the boundary condition, I will use the residues of boundary condition. The function for boundary conditions would be uh, there will be two variables, one for the left boundary and one for the right boundary. For the left boundary, I use U0 sample, and for the right boundary, I use U1 sample. So the it, it says that F F at zero is zero. For F, for the left boundary, for the left boundary, I will use U0 when it equal to zero. It equal to zero means the left boundary. So U0. So U0, because it is a condition on F, for F, it's a one represent for X. And then it is zero, so that's then residue would be this. And then the second uh, boundary condition is f prime is equal to one. f prime is equal to one. Add it, add it equal to zero. For it equal to zero, I will use u naught. For f prime, it's a derivative. So the first derivative will be presented with two. And then I will bring one on the left hand side. So that's a residue for the second boundary condition. And then the for the third one, it's a, uh, for third one, it's for right, for right boundary. For right boundary, for, for right boundary or the right end point, I will use u one. And for derivative, I will use two, and that's a regular. No for temperature, for temperature, so it's a theta. So theta, theta on the left, uh, eta equal to zero. And it, it equal to zero, u naught will represent that uh, eta equal to zero. And for theta, the number four represents the temperature theta, which is my, and also minus one together. So this whole thing would be a residue. And then the one more condition is that, okay, on the right hand point, the, t, the theta is zero. So that's another boundary condition. Now boundary condition on phi. The boundary condition, uh, so u naught represent the left end point and six. U six represent the phi. So uh, minus one. So on the right end point is u one at phi, which is six. So that was the boundary condition, and then I will use initial boundary and then it is uh, the whole domain is 
Okay. So we will then go to next for search and then conditions, initial conditions. There are seven equations, there will be seven initial cases. And then So U2 is a velocity and U3, U3 is a double prime. And then U4 represents temperature, U5 represents heat temperature, uh, 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 the derivative of temperature. Then U6 is uh, well, nanoparticle volume 7 and U7 is derivative of nanoparticle, uh, derivative of 5. So these are the things. You know, V2 means that it's a velocity. So for when this goes, So there is a balance source. So that was the velocity. Similarly, I can plot uh, the temperature, temperature with the temperature with for four, four number of standard temperature and then the concentration as well. So number six would send the concentration. Yeah. So I can increase the domain. So I can increase the domain. So noise check. Yeah, so these are volume for particle nano particle volume fraction. So that was what to do the force for heat and mass transfer and total I end this video.